What's up all my cool cats and kittens? I don't know why I said that. I really Today we're gonna talk about some tips for FTO, man. Sorry about to tell you the FTO can be hell. It can be hell. In this video, I'm gonna share some some information, my experiences when I went through FTO. I'm gonna read out some of the feedback I got on some of my weeklies. So we had um a weekly report that was done on us every week by our FTO. We had four cycles in FTO. So in every three weeks, we would switch FTOs. So you would range through some pretty good FTOs and some and you just ain't really mesh with too well. I definitely had some both. Checked out my other video, the one where I'm talking about driving a police car. That gave us the experience of me driving the police car for the first the first time ever and how that was. But this is just like some overall tips, just FTO and my experience with it, right? I'd say 16 weeks is what it, 17 weeks, I believe is what FTO was for us. Um, Had some good weeklies. I say majority of them were good. Uh, and I had some, some pretty crappy ones and I was just like, I'm about to lose, you about to lose your job. That, that's, that's what I was telling myself. You about to lose your job. Uh, I, my lieutenant talked to me every week about my uh, weeklies. Uh, you had to sit down. You had to sign off on them. Uh, we did that. It gave a chance to do a feedback to your FTO, basically. Uh, basically explaining if you agreed or disagreed, whatever they wrote. Who about to sit up there and write something back when well, you got to ride the person of the week? <laughs> So I hardly ever wrote anything back. I just like suck. It. I just like whatever. It's whatever. Um, and you could see your your weeklies online. So on the last day, they would start typing it up like as you're driving most of the time to get it done um, on the way back to the PD. And by the time you're driving home, you can look on there. I just kept refreshing, kept refreshing, and it would be on there. And that that was definitely some times I'm just like. There's definitely times you want to show back up to work and just be like really pissed off at your FTO. But obviously, you know that wouldn't make it that would make it right, right? Because there's be some times that you do something really good that you're like, okay, that should have been in there. Or she mess up with something and you'd be like, that shouldn't have even been in there. I don't get why that's important to put in there. Your your supervisor the one determining whether you're gonna make it out. And if you're putting that in there, they ain't have to know that. You ain't have to tell them that, bruh. You ain't have to do that. Start out reading some of the reviews I got back. This is just from one particular FTO. I want to start out first by telling my, my kind of personality as a cop when I first started, because it's kind of different now when I first started. It's pretty much the same, but it's kind of different. I'm a laid back guy, right? I'll talk to you just like this, have a conversation with you, because no biggie. Like, whether you committed a crime or not, I'm going to have a conversation with you just like this. Um, and I'm going to treat you with respect. That's just how it is. I'm not out here looking for a fight. I'm not out here to demean anybody or do anything. I'm just here because this is my job and I'm here to, if there's a crime, charge you with the crime. That's my job as a law enforcement officer. I enforce laws. I think the overall message that is I'm just like really kind of laid back at this job, right? But at the same time, there's certain things I do not like. I don't like you telling the small lie to me. If I come up to your car and I'm like, man, I mean, how much weed you got in the car? Just a quick tip. Don't ask somebody if they got weed in the car. You ask them, man, how much weed you got in the car? Um, if you ask them if they got in the car, then they're going to tell you a lie off the bat because they don't, they're thinking you, did, you don't know for sure if it's in there. How much weed you got in the car, man? Uh, you see them start looking around? I'll stop you real quick, right? I was like, all right, man, I'm going to stop you real quick. Before you tell me a lie, here's the thing. For some weed, I work with you. I don't care about weed, right? But it's illegal. I got to kind of address that it's weed in the car. Uh, you tell me a lie, I'll probably take you to jail for it. You tell me the truth, I can work with you. Believe me, I, weed is not my thing. A report is not what I want. An arrest is not what I want. Um, I can smell weed in the car, so I'm just giving you the opportunity to go ahead and tell me what, tell me what it is. You tell me the truth, guess what? I don't care about it. You can stuff it out. You tell me a lie, you're probably going to jail. It's a simple thing. Like you, it's so much more time I had to do to, to come in here and search your car. 
it, it's so much more talent. You can tell me where it's at. All right. Get it. All right. Throw it at me. I want to double check this. Make sure you ain't got no more. Because they'll hand you some stuff. And they got more in the car. All right. So. But that's me, man. I'm, I'm like real laid back. But I'm big on like truthfulness. That's, that's all I want. Other than that, I'm laid back as crap. I'm just chill. But there's one FTO that I had. It's kind of the opposite. It's like just up all the time. Like just got to do something, you know. And everybody talked about talked bad about him before I got there. This is the FTO that everybody was kind of just like scared to go to. And this is the FTO that the other FTOs are like, you're going to hate it. <laughs> are you going to legit hate yourself for those three weeks that you're riding with him? Be that bad. I can get along with anybody. So let's read some of this stuff, right? Um, I'm going to put up screenshots of this. So I don't have the actual screenshots of my weekly. What happened was one of the dudes I went to MTO with had a baby. He came back. He wasn't doing too good after the baby. Uh, and he got extended. So he had to be an FTO longer than 17 weeks. And they were giving him a hard time. So we were texting and he's like, man, what did some of your, I was already out of FTO at this point. He's like, what does some of your, F your weeklies look like? So I just like messaged it to him. So I'm just reading uh, what they said. And I'll try to put some screenshots in here, the text message I sent just to show you what these crap said, right? So he said, there are two issues I've seen this week with Officer Williamson that I need him to correct. He keeps leaving my doors unlocked in my patrol car and his safety with dealing with prisoners needs some attention. Okay. Williamson is in week seven this week and is still making common mistakes as most recruits would. The area I really need him to improve in is his officer safety when dealing with the public and prisoners. This is an area that is very serious and I want to see Williamson stay focused and not so relaxed when dealing with citizens and prisoners. Williamson needs to work on a routine of obtaining prop proper information from reports and on traffic stops to be more efficient. All right. Let's give a background, just those two. And this is kind of, you know, it'll help you in your situations that I'm giving context to what he's saying. Uh, this is like three years ago, by the way. The first one where he says, I need to keep the doors unlocked. Issue is, <laughs> here's the issue, is that he'll jump out the car second or last and he won't lock the door. You was the last one in here. How am I all the way up there? You still in the car. And by the time I get up there, you out the car. You ain't locked the door. It ain't on me. It, you, To me, that's on him. You was the last one in the car. You locked the door. His safety when dealing with prisoners needs some attention. So this is two incidents that he really cursed me out for. When I tell you he cursed me out, he cursed me out for it, right? So I want to say at this point, he was my third FTO. I started FTO at this time. So I've already went through two with him and I've already done things. I've already been doing things their way, right? Well, we get called to Walmart and a buddy of mine who actually, I know before starting his job, uh, he was on his way home. He stopped at Walmart because he was passing on his way home. He was just getting off work. Well, he's in there. It was a larceny call and he's bringing a guy out to us when we get there. And this dude had two BB guns on him, right? He just walks around with him in the holster. I don't know why. But he brings him out, puts him in our car, in the backseat of my car, right? We get to the PD to process this guy. We take our own pictures and we do our own fingerprints. And I am searching this guy. Actually, I take that back. We get to the PD and I have him remove everything out of his pockets and put it on the counter. When he does that, he takes off a necklace that has a blade on it. Oh my God, this FTL lost his, you know what, in front of the prisoner guy. You let the prisoner run. Meanwhile, I never even came in contact with that guy until we got back to the PD. Like, I, I never was in a predicament to where I was able to search him because when we got there, they immediately put him in my car. Um, we got to the PD. That was the first time that I had the opportunity to see that, that he still had that on him. Um, but of course I didn't say anything. i I texted my friend lady was like, you know, you got me yelled at, right? And he's like, oh crap. It's like my bad <laughs> tips about that is that what I do now, I lock my doors about six times before I get to anywhere I'm going. Like if I'm going to a house or going to talk to somebody, I'm sitting there and I'm just clicking and I'm just clicking and I turn to my 
the sound, I turned like the little horn thing off and I also turned my lights off so they don't blink anymore. So you really won't know if they locked or not. But that's why I do it like six times. Uh, we're dealing with prisoners. Before anybody puts anybody in my car, I'm researching them, right? And let's say it's a situation where you get there and they just have to put somebody in your car real quick because they already fought with them. Okay. Uh, but when we get to where we're going, I'm searching you again before the handcuffs come off. Before the handcuffs come off. Um, because the also safety thing, it's, it, it kind of needs to be done. And has there been times I found something on somebody when uh, they've already been searched? Yes. So I typically would search, no matter how many times they've already been searched, I'm searching you again. Uh, but yeah, I'm just like a freak with, with searching now because mm -mm, it won't get me. The whole, this is Williamson 7, this is week 7, and he's too relaxed. I already talked about that. that that's nothing I can help with. Uh, that's just me. He needs to work on routine. Okay, so <laughs> this is a tip. And he got on me enough about this that if I forget it, even now, I remember him cursing me out, and I'll do it. <laughs> so if you run a tag that is a temporary tag, uh, some of our temporary tags have where you can look them up in DMV. Some do not look up in DMV. And I would go to the car and I would just get their license and I'll come back to the car. And I never ask people for the registration, no matter what, because we can look it up. To me, that is just pointless. Uh, some officers do it. It's another charge you can charge if they don't have it. But to me, it's pointless. I can look it up. But I was doing the same thing, the 30 day tags, in which I get back to my car and I'm like, dang. I got to go back up to my car. And then I got to sit here and listen to, t to this guy yell at me for forgetting. And I'm, he's yelling, you're going up there to the car too much. You shouldn't have to do that. Get out of your car twice. Blah, blah, blah. You're making this longer. Blah, blah, blah. Right? So you're up there 30 day tag, get the registration. That's really the only time I ask for it. Um, yeah. And you, you make up to you what you want. You can choose to get cussed out by your FTO and get upset, quit. Or you can take what they say, say, okay, I'm not going to be a police officer like this. However, to get through these next couple of days or weeks that I got with you, I'm going to do it your way. It's the only way you're going to make it out. You want your good weekly so you can get the heck up out their car? Do it. All right. Well, this is the end of the video. I did a part two to actually talk about some more actual tips and circumstances that I went through in FTO, some calls I went on. But like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. All right. And I'll see you next time. Part two.